Okay, we're with Nigel Hall, Chief Executive Scottish Athletics. Nigel, a good day. Team Scotland announced and 23 Scottish athletes plus a 4x4 four four women's relay team. Yeah, it's great news, Peter. Uh, fantastic. Congratulations to all the athletes that have been announced today by our partners at Commonwealth Games Scotland. Really, really good news for them. A huge congratulations for them, their coaches, families, support teams. What a great job they've done. I guess the key message that after the celebrations are over today is... What, an, what a responsibility and what an opportunity they've got, though. Uh, ten months till the Games, um, the opportunity to position and prepare through the winter with their coaches, specifically focusing on July and August next year. Great opportunities, that. And it's going to be quite a big athletics team, we know that, but great uh, inspiration for, for younger athletes to see these people getting their chance next summer in, at Glasgow 2014. Yeah, look... I think we know we're going to have a few new heroes and heroines uh, in Hamden Park and on the, the, the marathon streets next, next summer. It is fantastic. We're likely to have a... We've already announced a bigger team today than we had in Delhi uh, four years ago. That's, that, that's tremendous and a credit to all involved. But as you know and we know, there are an awful lot of other athletes that have hit qualifying standards, got one or two. So the team will grow from this 23 we've announced today. So that, that's great news. Um, in terms of the, the impact and the legacy, Look, we saw what happened in 2012. It was huge here in Scotland. I think fantastic. Glasgow will be even bigger. Just uh, wrapping up a couple of other issues. The annual general meeting, uh, not so very long ago. Membership uh, prices, fees stay the same. Affiliation fees stay the same. Membership is rising. Event entries are rising. Quite a good feel-good factor around the sport. Well, again, it's the, it's the clubs mainly that get the credit for that, Peter. We, we were very clear at the AGM that, 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 that we credit the clubs more than anybody. So big entrant numbers to events. We've seen that at the wonderful Emirates Arena. Uh, but we've also seen it at outdoor track and field events, at cross country, at the new trail races. That, that results in a bigger income from the organization as well. So that, it's, it's, it's approaches like that that mean we can keep affiliation fees and membership fees fixed. And that's great because as new young people come into the sport, we're trying to make sure that we're a great sport with great opportunities, but also at a great cost and a great price. So good news of that from the AGM. Also nice to be able to announce a couple of new board members joining, joining the board. So Stuart McCallum uh, has joined us. Um, some people will recognize Stuart's name. He's represented Scotland previously uh, at a Commonwealth Games and internationally uh, in the 1970s. He comes with a very good corporate business background as well. So really welcoming Stuart onto the board. We know he'll bring a lot in terms of his knowledge of the sport at elite level from a few years ago, but probably more significantly his corporate competence. And Sandra Prame joins us. Sandra, um, heavily involved in White Moss AC, so passionate about club athletics. She's also played international sport, uh, internationally netball for Scotland, and perhaps most significantly is a senior staff member working for a leisure trust at Glasgow Life. Now, all of our clubs right across the country are dealing with local authorities and leisure trusts in partnership. Sandra's experience there can only help us.